Hey AP Chemistry, I wanted to post a brief video on acid dissociation equations and their constants and maybe what to do with that and writing the equations and possibly a bit of buffers. Um, so let's start with this acid that I have here. This is HCN. I'm calling it an acid, okay? And we need to know by now that an acid has the structure HA. H is the proton which is H plus, and A is some conjugate base, A minus, conjugate base, A minus, and it's some anion, anion is like a negative charge, okay? So if I have HCN, and I'm giving you that the Ka for HCN is 4.9 times 10 to the minus 10th, the Ka is the acid dissociation constant. So dissociation of an acid, kind of like the dissociation of ions, involves the following. Here is the um, template. So my template is HA aqueous plus H2O liquid in equilibrium with H3O plus aqueous plus A minus aqueous. That is the, in general, formula or the template. Now, H3O plus can also be written as H plus. Okay? Now, if I want to write it as H plus, I'd have to rewrite this like this. HA aqueous, H plus aqueous, plus A minus aqueous. Both of these are the same. By the way, notice how they're in equilibrium, and that's because they're weak acids. I would not do this if it was a strong acid. I wouldn't have the arrows. Although I could still write the equation like this, I have an equilibrium. If I had, and this would be a weak acid, if I had a strong acid, I would have HA, one arrow, H plus, plus A minus. And so basically, well, no pun intended there, but basically what I'm doing is I'm breaking apart the two ions, two ions that are in the acid. And an ion is anything that's positively or negatively charged. So I broke apart that HA into H plus and A minus. Now, why do I include this water business? Well, just to kind of show you where that H goes, if I had HA and I have water, water has these electrons, and we're going to talk about structures like way later, but water acts as a base here, acts as a base here, and what it does is it pulls off that H+. Plus, right? So this is acting as a Bronsted base where it accepts an H+. plus. So if I have H2O and I take H from it, I get H3O+. Plus. And what's left over is the A that was hanging apart with this. That would be A minus. Okay? So these are the in general ways to write acid dissociation equations. Let's work with HCN. I'm giving you that that has a Ka. Um, automatically, if I give you a Ka, we're thinking weak acid. But if I'm looking at this Ka, it's quite, quite small. 10 to the minus 10th, that's freaking small. So 10 to the minus 10th making it small, meaning I'm mostly reactant favored and it's not a strong acid. So let me write its dissociation. So I have HCN, and if I want to write its dissociation, I could do it one of two ways. I don't care which way you do it, as long as you're consistent. I could do HCN aqueous plus H2O liquid in equilibrium with, now I wanna figure out what the two ions are. Well, if this is an acid, I know I gotta get H plus or H3O plus somewhere. So I have H plus and I have CN minus. Now water is not ionic. 
Water's that solvent in which the ions could break apart into. So in my previous video, all those ions were in water. The acid dissociation equation includes water, but it doesn't have to. And I'm going to do that a second time. So I have H plus and CN minus. And CN is cyanide, which is a polyatomic ion. Okay, so again, there's a list of polyatomic ions that you need to know. So if I want to continue writing this, I'll have H3O plus plus CN minus, and they're both aqueous. If I want to do this simpler, I could do HCN aqueous, equilibrium arrows, H plus aqueous, plus CN minus aqueous. And that's okay, because water does not end up in the equilibrium expression, and it's assumed to be there with aqueous. Aqueous means assume water is present. So I understand, and the AP exam, and any future in quiz and test will understand, that if you write aqueous, water is present. Okay? Let's just do another one. Let's say I had HF now. Okay? And HF has a Ka of 6.8 times 10 to the minus 4th. 6.8 times 10 to the minus 4th. If I'm looking at this Ka, or if I'm even giving you a Ka, is this strong or weak? Hmm, this is a weak acid, so it's going to be in equilibrium, or I'm going to dissociate it weakly. All right, so this is HF. If I want to write the acid dissociation equation, I could add it to water, which is a liquid, and in equilibrium, I'll write H3O plus aqueous. And the other ion here, if not H plus, is F minus. So plus F minus aqueous. And just for the name of this, this is hydrofluoric acid. Let's do one more kind of weirdish one. How about uh, hydro, no, hydro, uh, hydrozoic acid. Let's say H, HN3. This is hydrozoic acid. Okay, some weird acid, hydrozoic acid. Its ionization constant is 2.5 times 10 to the minus fifth. 2.5 times 10 to the minus fifth. That's quite a small ionization or dissociation constant. So if I want to write this, I have to identify my positive and negative ions. So it might be a little bit weird. But this is an acid, hydrozoic acid. So I have HA. My H will must be my H, and my A must be my N3 here. So if I add that to water, liquid, aqueous, if I add that to water, it's a weak acid, so it's in equilibrium, I'll get H3O plus aqueous. And then what's left over? N3. And if I write it as HA, that N3 must be N3 minus. That would be how I write the dissociation. And then finally, if I want to label some things, here's my acid, here's my base, because my water is going to act as a base here. Here's my conjugate acid, and here's my conjugate base. That's kind of like my A minus. Going back up here, same idea. HF will be my acid. My water will act as a base. I'll get H3O plus, which is my conjugate acid. And I'll get F minus, which is my conjugate base. I could write this backwards if I do bases. What if I were to just have a base like CN minus aqueous? And that has some KB that's really small. Um, it's actually going to be one point, if I have to figure out the KB, it would be four, a 1.0 a 1 times 10 to the minus 14th. I'd have to divide that by 4.9 times 10 to the minus 10th because KA times KB is equal to KW. And so if I want KB, it'd be KW over KB. Sorry, KW over KA is equal to KB. Okay? 
So if I want to write this equation, this is my base now. I could do CN minus aqueous. I'm going to add it to water, liquid. And instead of it acting like an acid now, this is going to be my base. And water is going to act as an acid now. And it's going to get deprotonated, or a proton is going to be taken away. That CN minus is going to take away an H from H2O. And I'm going to get OH minus plus, if I take an H from H2O, I'll get HCN aqueous. This would be the backwards of it. And here's my conjugate base. And here's my conjugate acid. I'll do the same thing with F minus. If I had F minus aqueous, all right, and I'll have some KB, which is equal to 1.0 times 10 to the minus 14th over its KA, which was 6.8 times 10 to the minus 10, uh, fourth, sorry, 10 to the minus fourth. That's how I could solve for KB. That's messy, sorry. Um, if I want to write this base dissociation, it's the same idea. I add it to water, liquid. That F minus is going to pull an H from H2O. H2O looks like this, really. That F minus is going to pull that H from H2O. And so H2O is technically H plus and OH minus. Okay, so that F minus is going to pull an H from there. I'm going to get OH minus leftover plus HF. And again, I'll have my base, my acid, my conjugate base, my conjugate acid. So it looks like the template for a base association would be B plus H2O in equilibrium, or it could be directly OH minus plus H. B. Okay, so I'm hoping this was a nice, quick, or actually elaborate explanation of how we write acid and base associations. Let me know if you have any more questions or concerns over how we write these dissociation equations.